Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Germany's Asia. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, our boss land doctrine. Fantastic. So, we've captured the capital of the fattening government. They are now being supported by the Japanese, which is actually, like, really bad. I don't... Do they have military access? They do. Isn't that just lovely? So now Japan's going to be getting involved. And there's nothing I can really do do about that um other than just hope to god that the russians keep them busy long enough are you still fighting the soviets you are but the soviets are kind of doing bad so i'm not i'm not too worried about what they're doing our only option basically is to rush our way to hairbin but like how the hell do you do that right now Gonna pull back across the side of the river. Delete this attack plan. Our new attack plan is basically push our way to the mountains here. Ching, you gotta control the capital? Because I'm relying on you. The Japanese are starting to show up, which is terrifying because they're actually troops that can actually do some damage to us. As opposed to basically everything else that's happening. My best bet legitimately I think is just wait for France to do Alsace-Lorraine because once they've done that are you in the right pack another one? You are oh yeah because you're a puppet state right I completely forgot about that so that's let's just wait for them to attack Alsace-Lorraine we can pull all our troops out and then we can worry about Japan at a later date. I, I, are they planning on attacking us? Probably at some point. Um, they got attacked like Philippines and stuff first, so we got we got at least some time. Apparently, is that the the syndicalist. Yeah, the syndicalist is taking control in uh, Bulgaria. That shouldn't actually be a too much of a problem for us, um, given the fact that they really don't have access to anybody who actually joins the Reichs. No, they're actually able, they're able, they'd be bordering the Greece, which would probably be joining the Entente at some point. So that could end up being a battlefield. We'll see how that turns out for them. We're gonna probably push our way straight into Chao Young. Argentina has, looks like it. They've won the war in Chile. And just hope the Japanese are not here. Bonus the land doctrine. Two military factories. Extra research slots, not a bad idea. No, the steel though. We need that steel. So we can imp stop importing so much from everybody else. The Middle Africa, when can you do... The thing about... Helicopter hospitals. Unless it's a decision and not a focus. Which might be the case. In fact, it looks like that is the case. But you can't do any of these, right? You only get 100 political power out of this, because... Yeah. I don't even know why they allow you to do time for a change when you haven't changed anything. It should be locked, unless you can do one of those two. That's just my unprofessional opinion on the matter. So, sign you guys to that army. One eighty-five, one twenty. Now we got some reinforcements coming in, but they, they're probably just like the weakened troops from here anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that. And you're honestly just gonna keep pushing, essentially in every other direction. Your reinforcements will not save you. You can believe that. At least not right now. Maybe at some point they'll be able to save you. I'm just... I'm, I'm ready for this war to be over. I'm ready for the Qing to handle this on their own. Maybe with the help of the League of Eight Six Provinces. Depending on what J uh, Japan end up, ends up doing. But we'll see. It's entirely possible that... When this guy capitulates, there's an event to get Japan out of the war. And if that's the case, that would be nice. 
but I don't know if that's the case. Something like that. Just push our way to the border. Try to surround all of these uh, Fetian troops if we ca possibly can. Because we can do that, that's going to kill a bunch of them and free up a lot of Qing troops and also probably make these supply routes a lot more friendly. So maybe even... The League of Provinces will actually get their troops up here. Apparently, like, right now, they're not really friends. As far as I can tell. So you declare war on Greece. Greece is still part of the Belgrade Pact. Why do you always attack when they're still in the Belgrade Pact? It doesn't make any sense. But what do I know? I am but a hapless moron. Shrink this down like this. Uh, you know what? We'll also shrink you down. To here. That seems good for now. 98 is working pretty good. Please just back off. I would love it if you would just give up. Yeah, and just flood your way to the border. Just flood your way to the border. I mean, it looks like it's working out so far. You will be dead. You will probably get broken off in an attack. And yeah, nope. The the push is working as intended. Ching will start flooding the area soon. You stay back, actually, to make sure things go okay. Okay, so we got our reinforcements in here. You guys hold position for now. You should be able to defend on your own, I would imagine. Yeah, and I think that's a pretty big uh, chunk we just took out of them. Are they retreating out of this area? The answer is that they're looking like they're beginning to. We got some chain reinforcements coming on through. We're only two. No, actually, we're only one province away. So one of you's got to push in like this. You guys push here, you stay back, and that'll get the uh, the results I'm looking for, if we can get this to work. If it does not work, then we have a problem. But I think it will work. It should be multiple combat, giving you a pretty bad penalty. Again, we're only one province off. From most of these areas. Shing already starting to fill in the gap. Lovely. You should perish. You stand back. Push, push. You stay home. Basically, I'm just trying to guarantee that at some point here, looks like we will cut them off in half. So we got kind of these guys who are stuck and basically have no uh, supplies whatsoever. And hopefully the Qing will be able to take advantage of that. Because if they don't, then they are uh, very dumb. As the kids would say. Where are you going? You stay here. Now please stay. You should be killed in just a moment. I would imagine, at least. You're on this front, so please go over. Okay, so that's been dealt with. You two are both on this front line. Please stop attacking. You're also both on this front line, so what the hell are you doing? Like, this line with the, with the uh, Fettening government isn't actually that important. Like, it will be cleared up no matter what. But that's a, that's a pretty large chunk, you gotta admit. That we've been able to help them out. 
Fall in Moscow. That's good for Russia. I mean, it's looking this well, and they get to uh, Moscow is a bit of an issue in and of itself, but that's okay. How do you have like no supp or supplies? Why are you leaving the cap? What is wrong with all of you? What is? Defend the capital. Defend the new territory that you just got. Like these guys should basically have like no supplies, right? Yeah. So you thought they were bad before. Look at them go now. It's gonna be an absolute train wreck. Just defend. It's fine to lose these two provinces, but keep make make sure you at least keep Shenyang. The province that actually has value. Okay, so let's say there's a Qing attack going on here. This is what we want to see. If the Qing end up losing this war, I'm gonna be so disappointed, to say the least. I only have one cavalry division defending Shenyang. After I fought so hard to give it to you, this is how you repay me? The shame. The damn, damn shame. Like, you can't beat me, right? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think you have the, the, uh, the power to do so. Once these two provinces are dead, we'll move all the troops to this border. It looks like the Qing have actually just abandoned this front to clean up the pocket, which is absurd. Because, yeah, they lost the capital. Well, you know, the one city that was very important. The I idiots is, is what we call them in the industry. Delete this for now. I mean, it's disappointing, uh, to say the least. I mean, it's it's nice that you're getting the kills, but it just would have been nicer if you held on to their capital. If he likes to do this problem, that's gonna be a big front line. Um. Okay, so we lost a little bit of ground. That's okay. We're going to get a big amount of steel in just a moment, so... No, everything balances out in the end. You no longer have your massive penalties? Like... No, you actually have a bonus now. That's scary. But that's okay. These guys are going to get completely wiped out. I don't know how much of the strength this is, but it looks like it's going to be a lot. Benny government's at 95%. So there was 213,000 men. Japan has landed down here in the south. But not in provinces that have ports. So this is just going to be dead Japanese soldiers. Let's pull back. We're going to need you guys to last stand this. Please and thank you. Like, you don't need to be attacking right now. That's all I can really say is that you don't need to be attacking. You are kind of fine just sitting there and doing nothing at all. Are they volunteers? No. They don't have volunteers. Just uh, support from the Japanese army. Do I at least have more supplies over here? Yeah, we have a lot more supplies. I like we took all this extra territory. Ching. At least come over here and fill up our empty gaps. 
Like, I'm here for maybe three months. You know, let's just say. Let's say, hypothetically, we're here for three more months. Until then... Or, I mean, after that point, we're, we're gone. Do you not take company, terminate trade contracts with German colonies? So they have... Is, is that them going against us? They have gone against us. I don't care about the steel. Punish you not. How dare they? How many men do they have? 10 to 20 divisions? I'm ready to go. I mean, is this a clear war? Yes, because we're not allowed to do it manually. And actually, if we declare war, that means we're, we're out of here as well. So you guys got, uh, like, 50 days of my support. And then it's gone forever. So I hope you don't screw it up like you have in the past. Like, how many men did I... I lost 71,000 men in this war. To help you, Ching, gain, like, a, a little bit of land. I You know, holding the capital. All those good things. But you... You pissed it all away, didn't you? I mean, you're gonna get a pretty a decent amount of kills here, but I don't know that really averages out enough. But you know, you know, we'll see. You might probably join the uh, the Reich's Pact and get a large influx of German troops and support. Entirely possible. Especially since I do not believe the commune has much of a chance. Um, it, you know, Mexico is part of the Third International. They've lost all their territory in South America. Norway is dead already. Like, it's it's Norway. Um, go go watch uh, the Union of Britain campaign to see how that turns out for them. Italy. I don't know when Italy will intervene. They'll intervene at some point. Sooner rather than later. You know, Ireland's already part of the Reichs Pact. And France will declare war soon after our attack begins. And the CSA is also looking like they're kind of on the losing end, which is fantastic. So my goal right now is just sit here, defend these territories, until the Qing can clear this up and reinforce. At which point I'm pulling out. Qing, you... I mean, technically I'm actually supporting the League of Six Provinces here. Um, they're the ones I've actually sent volunteers to because the Qing refused help like i would have actually sent them 22 divisions if they let me put both armies in but unfortunately they were no not really appreciative of it which is disappointing but what can you do let's see what are those numbers looking like right now about half a million dead on their side forty-two thousand dead japanese i mean it's Still pretty good. I mean, just like a, okay, they have a negative 27% penalty. How do you guys feel about the Unonic League? Is this planes? It is planes. It's very hot and it's rainy. Some of you guys are very, very experienced though. And we get another tw uh, 11 divisions uh, once the war be breaks out, anyways. To reinforce if we need to. And you guys are trying to smash away straight through these three divisions. Like that's I think our entire army is at 15 stack. What are we going to do with it? That's a great question. Maybe we'll hand it over to the Qing. If they ever join the Reich's Pact. Entirely possible. Not with the... No, please. You're all attacking. You sit behind for now. Like, I'll help you try to break through a handful of these easier-to-claim provinces. But other than that, you guys are kind of just on your own. Excavation 2 allows us to get 50 aluminum. Is that good? Do we need... Are we, are we using aluminum? The answer is no, we're not. 
We've taken, we've taken one province for them. We can at least take another. Like, I'm trying to help you out, Ching. I really, really am. But sometimes it's just... Just don't seem to really understand what's happening. And I... Like, what, what, what do you do in that situation? Get better infantry equipment? Sounds like a plan. So you can't do anything until the Curie project's done, but as soon as that's done, I'm sure you're going to demand Alsace Lorraine. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what, right now? We'll win this battle for you. The Qing don't even care, like, they're not even going to help out. There you go. I've taken the province, Qing forces are going to arrive in. We're going to draw a fallback line, and as soon as you are here... I'm pulling my troops out. So say goodbye to all the support I've given you. The, what, 100,000, 85,000 men that I lost to serve your interest over mine? I mean, I'm still hoping that they will, uh... do the future relationships at some point. One of the following must be true. Punish you non. Japan is no longer a leading nation in the world, or Japan does not exist. So actually, they can't join until Japan's already dead. Do you guys have your massive, like, debuffs? Negative 71%, yes. You definitely have your massive debuffs, to say the least. They punish you non. Let's keep going. Let's go back for those steel mills. We are attacking with infantry. Or we're attacking with marines in the mountains, but that's okay. If you just don't think about it, everything works out alright. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not joy, can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.